than anybody's roof. I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me. I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim The Dream. I'm a 15 year old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, slaying trolls is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Craziness continues. According to Boxing News 24, Tia Fima Lopez Sr. says that his son, Tia Fima Lopez Jr., will whoop um, Josh Taylor's, you know what I mean, AS. And that he's gonna um, not be able to head in his son's just gonna dominate the fight, etc. Um, what do I think about this? I think it's absolutely ridiculous to say that your son is gonna walk through Josh Taylor, who is the undisputed champion, 140 pounds, and is a pound for pound fighter. Okay, um, I think that TFM Lopez Jr. needs to get rid of TFM Lopez Sr. There's clearly something wrong with TFM Lopez Sr. As you look at his, um, you look at the post fight interview. He was out there celebrating with George Campos Jr. and his father. That's how drunk he was giving nonsensical advice to TFM Lopez Sr. throughout the fight, telling him that he was winning the fight when he, he was losing the fight, that the knockdown was a slip. And it clearly can tell you, it shows you that where TFM Lopez Jr. gets his arrogance from, his delusion, his unwillingness to face reality, he gets it from his father, because his father does the same thing, okay? Um, you know, he's not gonna get any better as a fighter if TFM Lopez Sr. just keeps denying the truth and not allowing him to go to a trainer who can take it to the next level. There was many holes shown in that George Campbell's fight. Right? That's why he lost. Nobody really knew George Campbell's Jr. was. Not even the hardcore boxing fans. George Campbell's Jr. was best win before that fight was over a over-the-hill Mickey Bay. That's it. You lost to that dude. In that fight, like I said, you showed that you can't go for more than seven, more than seven or six rounds. Um, your defense is questionable. Uh, you don't have a good, you don't have a use, useful jab. Okay, your Philly show defense was not working. That's why George Campbell's Jr. was coming over with the overhand right, countering you all night. He was taking advantage of the fact that you were being extremely aggressive and lunging in and leaving yourself wide open. Okay, if you're a trainer, you should tell your, your fighter to stop making these mistakes, right? That makes sense. Instead, TFM Lopez Sr. was just telling him the opposite, just to go out, go crazy, go wild, you know? That's not something good to tell your, your train your fighter, okay? I think that T.H. from Lopez Sr. could benefit from a trainer who could highlight his strengths and cut out the weaknesses and make him a better fighter. Because as much as I don't like T.H. from Lopez Sr., I mean, Jr., he has a potential to be a great fighter. He has um, power, athleticism. He has good boxing ability. But he has holes in his games that need to be addressed, like I said, by a better trainer. T.H. from Lopez Sr. is not going to do his son any favors by continuing to hold him back. He needs to learn from somebody like Bill Haney. Bill Haney gave his son, Deb Haney, the choice to get a better trainer or or keep Bill Haney. And he kept Bill Haney as somebody else because this, Bill Haney's actual great training. He gives um, Deb Haney good advice in the ring. He tells him what to do. That's the opposite of T.F. Lopez Sr., okay? Uh, like I said, T.F. Lopez Sr., he needs to get kicked out the door. Uh, I think that T.F. Lopez Sr., Jr., my mistake, would benefit from having a trainer that can give him reality and tell him what he's doing wrong, okay? Because I cannot see him beating Josh Taylor, to be honest. I think that Josh Taylor is going to stop Tia Fim Lopez Jr. And there's a variety of reasons why um, Josh Taylor is a very skilled boxer. He hits hard. He has good defense. He has a good chin. He's only been ever been really been hurt by Jose Ramirez and Regis Progaris, who are the two best fighters in that division, okay? Um, he was getting outboxed by... George Cambosis, T.F. Lopez Jr. Imagine, imagine Josh Taylor doing that. Josh Taylor is a pound-for-pound pound fighter and one of the best boxers on the planet. I think that he's going to outbox him for the first six or five rounds, and he's going to have to put the pressure on him and stop him in the eighth or the ninth round, okay? Unless T.F. Lopez Jr. shows amazing improvements through, it, through his next fight, I cannot see him beating him. I just think that um, T.F. Lopez Jr. needs to take a humility pill, uh, find a new trainer, get better, and accept your loss like a man because that's what a man does. He takes the things that he loses in his life and he continues to go forward. But like I said, we'll never know how good T.F. Lopez Jr. really is unless he gets rid of his father, okay? Uh, this is my taking it, though. But to wrap this up, this is Nassim the Dream. Rock the Terrace and he takes to sleep. Aha, I'll show another one. Peace.